Good morning. Hope you're all right. Uh, 2nd of July today and today I have an interview. I'm really, really nervous. I'm not going to lie. Um, I haven't had an interview since 2006 when I got my first teaching job. Um, since then I taught for six years and then I've been at home um, for three pretty much. Um, no, that's not right, is it? I was on maternity leave for one year. I worked for five, maternity for one, at home for three. Um, so, yeah, I decided that I'm going to go back for one or two days a week just doing supply work. Um, the plan was not to go back to work until the girls were at school, but our savings are going down and down. Um, and... Although they probably won't run out for another two years, I'd rather work so that I keep the savings afloat, which means that I can stay off for longer because we'll have those savings topped up every week, every month. So I'm just going to go for an interview with an agency today. So it's not anything particularly to worry about because it's not going to be a normal interview. It will just be are you crazy? No, good. <laughs> um, but still, I've not been in, in those sorts of conditions for a long time. Make matters worse, I didn't sleep very well. Um, my little girl is still poorly. Um, she's woken up with a raging temperature today, so she was meant to be coming. My mum was going to look after the girls and then we were going to go shopping afterwards but I think they can stay at home with her and I'll go on my own. So I've got to do my face to make me look like I'm normal. Um, didn't have a very good day yesterday. We've had slugs coming into our kitchen at night which possibly they go into everybody's kitchens at night. Who knows but because I'm up in the night to do bottles um, I find them pick them up with kitchen roll and throw them out the back door and it's got to the point where I'm sick of finding them and I know where they're getting in they're getting in through the where the waste pipe comes into the kitchen so I bought some expandable foam I thought I'll just block up that entrance Easy, spray the foam, it expands, job done. Except, did I put on sensible clothes? <laughs> I was wearing my favourite new dress. Um, and it turns out expandable foam does not come off of your clothes. Please, if anyone's going to use it, wear rubbish clothes that you don't care about. Um, because now it's ruined. I've looked, I've googled and googled and nothing will get it out. It does say paint stripper but I'm imagining paint stripper is not very good on clothes so it's ruined and I just I love that dress. It wasn't anything fancy or anything it was just a stripy summer dress but it was really flattering nice colours and it was new. I hadn't had new clothes in such a long time and I treated myself to some the other week and now it's ruined. And I just could kick myself because <laughs> now I don't have a new dress anymore. I have a ruined, horrible dress with a big... It's, it's not even... It's... Where, where it's sort of like glue, it's um, it's just now a white patch of, of hard. It's not, it's not rock hard, um, but it's ruined anyway. I don't know. The only thing I can think is maybe I could re-stain it, re, you know, re-dye it black on that, because there's stripes. And one of the, it's on the black. Of all the ones to have fallen on, it's fallen on the black stripe. The most noticeable. Um, so primer um yeah so not a good day I was not impressed I went to bed very annoyed at myself 
for being so stupid. And all my husband could say was, well, should have worn better clothes. Oh, well, that's really helpful. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for your wisdom. That is not going to help me get the stain out of the clothes. So, anyway. So yesterday I wore my Olay Total Effects because I was just staying in the house. Today I'm leaving the building, so I will be putting on proper foundation. Um, and I will be putting on concealer as well. I use Revlon Colour Stay which is a new one I treated myself to the other day because my old one ran out. Now, rightly or wrongly, I always put my foundation on first and then the concealer. I'm aware that this is the wrong way around, probably, but I like to see what my face looks like and then touch up any bits that are still looking a little bit red. It might be the right way, but to me, it seems backwards. Um, but I do it anyway, so. Um, so I always put concealer um, under my eyes to get rid of the bags and around the nose because I have uh, rosacea, I think it's called, isn't it? Um, and on my chin for the same reason, just to get rid of those red bits. So, there we go, looking a bit more human, um, I'm so tired I don't even know what I'm doing, eyebrows, very important, can't leave the house without eyebrows, but as I explained yesterday, I plucked out too many eyebrows when I was a teenager, leaving me a little bit bare in the edges. Um, powder. Every day I do my makeup and every day my things go missing and there's not that much space. Anyway, here it is. So I have to go to Luton for my interview today which I don't really know Luton very well, only the, the bad things you hear about Luton. Um, but luckily I have a sat-nav to guide me on my way. Otherwise my directional and observational skills are not very good. I get lost just going out the house to the shops really. Oh, that, I've just put some perfume on, sprayed it in my mouth. Boss Orange. I got it for Christmas from my grandma and I love it actually. I love Boss. One of my favourites is uh, Boss Woman. Um, it reminds me of university. I used to spray it so much. It must have been a cloud of perfume as I left the room. Um, but yeah, I do like... Um, Boss Woman and that's Boss Orange as well. One of my other favourites is all the Britney Spears uh, in her range. Um, I can't think what this one's called actually, it was a new one I got. Island Fantasy. I am a bit of a perfume hoarder. Um, perhaps another time I will show you all my perfumes. I probably have probably over 50 different perfumes. I only, I only wear those two. Um, all the variations of Boss Woman or the other Britney ones. Um, don't judge me for being a Britney fan. Although I'm not so much a fan of hers anymore since uh, recent times. Um, I think that's my face done. No, blusher. Didn't put blusher in yesterday because was just staying in but today I want to look smiley um I use max factor flawless and I just put it on the my cheeks like that some days I alternate some days I I put bronzer on depends really 
how I'm feeling, but today I want to look, not that you can tell at all, um, because I haven't got a light bulb for my lamp yet, so it's still very orange on my face. Okay, so my hair, I thought today I might put it up in a bun. Um, hang on a minute. I bought the best thing, um, it's called a hot bun, um, and it comes with a pack of two, one with a big and one with a slightly thinner, slightly shorter um, thing. And it's brilliant, you uh, you just roll your hair up and it, it puts it in a bun, instead of those bun rings with millions of Kirby grips, um, which I just... I don't think I've ever managed, I have, a, I have a bun ring, but I've never successfully managed to put one in. So all you do is you put it up in a ponytail um, first. I have to say I'm enjoying doing this, I'm not brushing my hair, but I mean <laughs> doing the vlogging. It's time to myself, which I haven't spent doing anything for myself in a long time. Always have the girls with me, and I never manage to really do my face every day. So this is quite nice, even though I'm talking to myself like a crazy person. And I'm sure when I go downstairs, I'll ask Mummy, who are you talking to? To the world, to the world. So I've put it in quite a high pony. <clears throat> now I have to say, as much as it's easy to use, it does, sometimes you think, yep, yeah, done that, and it doesn't quite feel right. Um, and so you feel like you have to do it over and over. So I don't know if you can see, I'm, I'm, I put it at the end of the ponytail and I'm rolling it up like that. And then so that now it's all wrapped around and then just sort of give it a bit of a twist even though you feel like it can't go anymore and then it's got poppers at either end of the so you just pop it together like that and then it has near the poppers it has I don't, how can I can you see a bit of elastic with a ball so the balls to help you find it whether you can see that I don't know and you pull the elastic and just make sure that all the hairs are around evenly and then you put the elastic around the bun and that just keeps any flyaways like if you've got layered hair or anything and then just just make sure that the hairs around it evenly and there there's a neat little bun sometimes I do feel like it's um, I not oh God, I'm just throwing Kirby grips I do feel like it not that it needs attaching because it's it's very secure to your head but I sometimes feel like it's a bit, I don't know if you can tell, it's sort of away from the head. I want to pull it in a bit more. So I will just put, I don't know, just put one in just to secure it. So now it's completely. And that's neat. So I feel all my greys are on, are on display to dye my hair again actually the last time I dyed my hair I dyed it a little bit red not that you can tell um, at all and in fact I complained to Garnier because on the box it had said that it, it really it suit the the color will take best and be most like the color on the box um, if you have really dark hair which I do, I almost black hair. Um, and 
it didn't. And the colour on the box was a, a reddy, like a Rihanna red. Not Maybe not as red as Rihanna, no. Um, Cheryl Cole, if anyone can remember how red her hair was one year on X Factor. Um, it was red like that. Um, but on the box it was, on my head, it didn't look like I dyed my hair at all. It was still very black. Um, so that's it. That's me done for the day. I'm wearing, I don't know if you can, I'm wearing leggings. Whoop! And can I, can, I don't know if you can see that. Just a, a blouse. It gapes here. It upsets me that it does that. Um, and just a black card again and hopefully they'll like the look of me and they won't think I'm crazy. Um, and that well, I doubt I'll get any work now. I think there's only two or three weeks left of term. But hopefully of September I'll start earning some money. At last we'll not be on the breadline every month. Um, so yeah, wish me luck. And I will let you know how I get on tomorrow. Have a nice day.